So I'm Georgie Westway and I'm currently um, a JMHS Strong Young Minds champion. I'm currently in year 10 and I've been a champion for nearly two years now. Um, what is Strong Young Minds? <laughs> Strong Young Minds um, is, a, is a group of people in Herefordshire who are working to raise the awareness of mental health and help reduce the stigma around mental health and there are many groups across Herefordshire who are taking part in making a difference. Fantastic. So how and why did you first get involved with the Strong Young Minds project? So the Strong Young Minds project had already been running for a year at my school. Um, I'd seen what they'd been doing and I wanted to get in on the action. Um, one of the main reasons that I wanted to do it is because I wanted to find out more about mental health and I wanted to be able to help people including myself in like the future and others who were suffering with it at the moment or in the future. Um, and why do you think it's important to engage young people in your school and to hear what they've got to say? I think it's very important to engage young people in schools because they need to know that they aren't alone in situations and need to know what is going on, what might happen. Um, and I think they need to know also what services um, there are out there to help them or to help others and they can then refer others on to other people. Okay, and what have you done in your school to raise uh, awareness of mental health? So, um, in my school, um, for um, Children's Mental Health Week in 2018, I helped coordinate um, the activities we did. So we uh, managed to do house assemblies where we spoke to all the students in um, the high school, which um, we got a lot of um, positive feedback from. Also, we did an information stand one lunchtime so people could come along, see what we were about. And it was mainly come ha along, have a laugh, see what we were about. Um, and also we did a teacher workshop. Um, but in this teacher workshop, we were very, very surprised to find out that none of the teachers in our school, including um, the support people in um, what we call the house office at school where students can go for support, none of them had ever had any mental health training. Wow. Which was very, very surprising. So we were very pleased to give them their first like little taste of it. Um, and from this work, um, I was able to represent um, the, all the Strong Young Minds champions in Herefordshire at the Hereford Community Champion Awards. And at these awards, um, the Strong Young Mind champions in Hereford won um, in the youth category. And from this, um, we received some donations to help us carry on with our work. Fantastic. You must have been really proud. Yeah. Brilliant. So if other schools were thinking about kind of engaging young people in this sort of project, what do you think they could learn from your school? What's gone well in our school is that we've like focused like the topics head on. So we haven't like strayed around them, we've gone for it. We decided that when we wanted to do um, events during this week, we decided that we wanted to do them to the best of our abilities and do them mm -hmm. well. And we didn't want them to be something that didn't really cover everything yeah and is there anything that's gone less well that's been challenging um i think there is always the challenge of sitting in an assembly um where we have all the people sat in the assemblies you're always going to have the people that don't lesser make faces at you but then i think once we've done the first two um the last ones including the last one went really really well okay and we were really happy with how that one went and i think that once I think it's one of them things once you get in and do it it's then a lot easier to maintain yeah doing it so kind of keep going would yeah. be your would be your tip there are there any initiatives that you think have been particularly successful well the assemblies I think that they've helped lots of certain students and with the assemblies we had the form tutors in there which then gave the form tutors a sort of idea of what is available in school and what is available outside of school so they can then, if they're worrying about some sort of form member, then they can easily refer them on. Um, and what did the assemblies cover and who ran them? So it was Strong Young Minds, your group? Yeah, so um, we did it as Strong Young Minds champions um, and Patricia came along mm -hmm. and we focused on what are the signs of mental health, what mental health conditions are there, what have we already done, what are we planning to do, and how they can get involved if they wish to. Uh, finally, is there anything else you'd like to do in your role as a mental health champion in school? As a mental health champion in school, I would like to encourage like the new generation of champions to come through, because in a year time, I will be gone, and I don't want all the work to just finish when we've gone through. I want there to be the new champions coming through, and currently we have got that in place and they are very um, encouraged to 
like take on the higher roles which I think is really good. So you need to plan for the future and that sort yeah. of sustainability and kind of passing the baton on really. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Is there anything else you want to say? Be a strong young minds champion. <laughs> <laughs>